Right, what's up YouTube, back again with another video today. Hope you're all doing well. Please don't forget, if you find these videos helpful, if you get the time to watch it, just leave me a like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment as well. Thank you. Um, it does help the channel. I want to try and get this channel moving up and up over the next few months. So yeah, that'd be appreciated. Okay, right, so we're just going to do a quick makeover on this portrait we've got here. The girl has got very little makeup on, as you can see, and we're just going to give her that bit of a boost um, to give it a final image production. Okay, so first things first, we'll just make sure the AI has got all the points right on the face. Nothing's perfect with AI, so you might just have to do some simple adjustments yourself to finish off where it's missed. Okay, so what we're gonna do is bring this one up here to the hairline and this one up here to the hairline as well and just adjust this one to the hairline end. So these points all correspond with this one here. Okay, so we've got that adjusted so the hairline is correct. What we're gonna do is just check the eyebrows as well make sure that all in the area again it does a good job but on some occasions it does slightly miss things okay so we're just going to bring the outline of the face a quick adjustment there how are we doing on the lips we'll just bring that out just a little bit and down the bottom as well just missed a little bit of the edge and we're done there as well again if you're some photoshop whiz kid who spends all day editing photos in photoshop and you've got hours to spend this software is definitely not for you but for someone who is a photographer dealing with lots of clients who needs nice results in the shortest time possible definitely worth looking at this software uh, i've been using it for a lot of years like i've said in previous videos and um yeah, I'm always happy with the results, with the results, and so are the clients. So, okay, so I'm happy there. So this is going to be, again, just a quick makeover of this face we've got on the screen now. And we're going to start off with the shape of the face. So if I'm looking quickly at the picture, I can see this eye is a little bit closed compared to the other side. So we're going to fix that now. Again slight improvements are where you want to start before you're going all out with these um, sliders if you go too far you're just going to make things look silly so we're going to bring that one up and i'm happy with the output there okay i expanding we're not going to do you know some other things you just don't need to use so you don't need to play with them i'm just going to go through the process for this picture and what i'm going to be doing okay so as well i was told in a, a message on one of my previous videos that if you could zoom into the areas a little bit more to see what you're doing so we will be doing that as you can see in this video right okay so the next thing we're going to do is adjust the lips just a little bit we're going to go for the lower one just to give it a little bit more pout and that is it nose etc we're not going to do anything with that one and then the hair volume we're going to leave that one as well Again, this is just going to be a quick edit before and after makeover as if she'd been made over before she came into the studio. So, you know, I get these comments now and again. Oh, she didn't need makeup, blah, blah, blah. Look, most models are coming into the studio for a makeover and a photo shoot and they want to look cool and the best. So these end results is what they want to see. Okay, end of. Please stop with those comments. Right, okay, so the next thing we're going to go into is we'll close that one down we're going to go into the makeup section and the one i always use is the mascara now this um slider here will add eyelashes etc to the eye area and we're going to go for the thickest texture and then we're going to go for a thick application okay once we've got the thick one on, we can bring them down just a little bit as well. Now, if you notice that the eyelashes are not in the right place, you can nudge them. 
see the top ones moving we can just nudge them to where they should be and then same with the bottom ones if they weren't in the correct space again you can buy all these sort of things as brushes in photoshop which when you start paying for all these things it adds up to a lot of money whereas all these things are included in the software for less than 50 pounds you cannot go wrong simple as that right okay so the next one we're going to go for is the eyeliner and we're just going to bring a little bit to the top and then a little bit to the bottom as well now there's different sort of styles you can use in here as well one of the popular ones is like the the cat eye look and then we'll just bring the opacity up and then you can see here it's put these little cat eyes to the side of the eye on each side there's a subtle one as well which i think i will use on that this occasion it's just a little flick that a lot of people go for so we're going to use that one as well again she's got a little bit of color in the cheeks there so we'll add a, a slight extra kick of the blusher section as you can see you just see it on the cheeks there we're just going to bring that up to around about just under 50 percent okay i like uh, sorry eyebrow pencil we're not going to use because if i use that on these our eyebrows are quite thin anyway but and they've been brushed up if we use a pencil it's going to give that silly look that we don't need to do with this model okay eye section into the eyes whitening the eye we're going to bring that to probably around the 28 percent mark cleaning the eyes there you can see what it does i will zoom in as you can see we'll bring that around about the 48 and just clean the eyes uh, sorry white in the eye area as well i think i'm happy with that look okay pupils i just want some of that catch light gone so i'm going to bring this one up to round about the hundred percent and we're going to darken pupil size we don't need to we'll leave them as they are we're going to live give a little bit of sharpening to the eyes again don't go too far and then the eyebrows like i said they're quite thin and brushed so we're just going to give a little bit of a sharpen to the brows as well just to highlight them go too far look silly we'll keep that round the 27 percent as well brighten the iris go too far look silly so we're just going to give that round a little bit of a boost around the 35 mark everything else we're going to leave now you can change the eyes if you want to change the eyes to brown you know whatever color you want but again we're going to leave this all alone if you want to add a different little bit of color to the eyes as well it's it's good to add these contacts over the top and then just blend them as i'm doing there but again i'm happy with the with the eyes as they are so we're going to leave them alone okay the final one that makes the images pop in my opinion is the lighting and contour so i always leave this one to last and then i'll add the finishing touches and then i might go back into one of the other um sections and then I do some adjustments but i don't think i will need to on this one so we're going to go straight into lighting and coloring and then we're going to add the modeling light as you can see it gives a bit of depth to the side of the face as we're doing there so we're just going to bring that to probably 20 30 percent and then a little bit of shadow on the left side a little bit of shadow on the right side of the image we're going to give her a little bit of a smoky eye look as well around the 60 percent for that a little bit of pout to the lip area as you can see just gives a little bit more of a shadow depth to it so we'll bring that up to around the 38 we've got the highlight on the nose already but we're just going to sculpt the nose just a little bit more round again 37 percent and we're done i think i'm happy 
quick makeover, the before and after is right on the screen in front of you. What can I say? I'm happy. Okay, see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you got to the end of this video, quick like, quick subscription. We'll see you in the next one. Peace!